percep uh, perception onto us. Isn't it true that uh, the anti-nuclear activists try to use fear, uncertainty, and doubt to scare the public into their way of thinking? The, the, we're, we're trying to scare the public. Um, I would, I, I, first, I strongly disagree with that. I think that we're doing, first, we're not completely anti-nuclear activists. Yes, I'm personally against nuclear power because I don't think that it's an appropriate technology that scars our planet forever. Um, but we're talking about costs today, and nuclear power is expensive. There's no activism in telling the truth about how much it costs. Um, and I guess that's really all I have. There's no activism in telling the truth. Again, Amherst rates are 30% below the national average. Because we have one nuclear reactor, and we're lucky that we don't have two, three, or four that we're still in. Other states that look at Illinois. Sorry, you <laughs> Other states, such as Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, have done these analyses. They have shown that nuclear power is the lowest cost option, and they're pursuing it. You know, the rest of the world has figured this out. We stopped building plants in the, in the early 80s uh, after Three Mile Island, really because of the loss of low growth in our country. If you don't believe that fact, I mean, Callaway plant, 1984 was the last plant we've built. It's been over 28 years ago. So the low growth has gone down in America, and now it's starting to, starting to retire some of those plants. But the rest of the world, in the year 1980, there was about 200 power reactors in the world. Today, there's 440. There's 60 under construction around the world. There's another 155 in the planning stages. The Chinese alone have 28 under construction and another 80 plants. The rest of the world has figured out that low cost energy comes from nuclear energy. The, the Chinese government does not finance their energy infrastructure on the free market principle. They use socialism, communism, and have government control, excuse me, I didn't word socialism correctly, use government control to build their infrastructure. And if you want to look at China as an example of good work environments for their employees, go ahead. But the last time I checked, that is not a great place to get an accurate uh, economic comparison for what a nuclear reactor would cost in this, this country. The only reason that we're sitting here having this conversation today is because George W. Bush and Barack Obama as well have been pumping billions of dollars into tax, of taxpayer money into federal loan guarantees for nuclear reactors. We most certainly would not be sitting here today had uh, that not happened years ago. There's only been one loan guarantee issue. And it's a loan guarantee, it's not a loan. And the utilities, nuclear power is the only one that pays for that guarantee through a credit subsidy fee. If it was a solar plant or a wind plant, they wouldn't pay. We pay for our loan guarantees. This is uh, kind of a related question uh, to uh, Mr. Bond. Um, Ed Smith.